Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm back, I didn't do a video last night because, you know, I was just too busy, um, the other night, uh, I had an asthma attack, and I guess it was, it was brought on by too many energy drinks, because I broke out in hives, itchy, can't breathe, and um, the first thing popped on my mind, oh crap, I got the corona, thank god I did, after about three or four hours of can't breathe and hurting, I recovered real quick, I feel great, um, Bad thing is, if, when this time right now you get a sniff when you all make me think, oh crap. It's that worry. And the boys in the back of your mind, too. Is, Do I got this crap? Just uh, here recently in. Ooh, excuse me. Here in Grip County. Uh, we had a, a 27 year old woman come out with the coronavirus, our first. Uh, outbreak of it first case of corona didn't hear nothing else for the rest of the week i thought well you know what that's good just one well found out today it's probably happened yesterday or the day before three more cases of it here in Grant county uh it was older older people um i hope they pull out of it i hope they, everything's good uh, guys, you need to keep yourself protected. If you have to go out, you feel the deep need, you absolutely have to go out into the public. Those paper masks ain't going to do much for you. But, you know, you just get the... Um, Get one of those paper masks, get a straight up regular Vaseline, and rub the outside of that paper mask down real good. Put a nice, good, thick coat on it, and uh, maybe you rub it, rub a little bit on the inside of it too. What that does is makes a thicker, stickier barrier. So if anything try to get in to you, it can't get through the Vaseline, and it'll stick to the Vaseline. <coughs> Uh, it's a nice little hack for you. I'm plumb full of them. Got all kinds of ideas and stuff and thoughts. But yeah, just a simple dust mask or painter's mask, whatever those paper ones. Just rub a nice layer on the outside and on the inside. Slap that bad boy on. You're good. Now, if you happen to got a beard. I would suggest trimming it down so I have a better sealant around your nose and mouth. And uh, it's hair, it'll grow back. But that's, that's just a little thought. I'm just hoping that uh, we get a cure for this thing soon. Because the way the virus is, has these spiny like things sticking all around it even though you recover from it it still damages your lungs now if you have to go to the hospital with corona I found out from my wife cause she's a home health care they put you in a uh, drug induced coma and those ventilators they run down your throat and into your lungs that's what keeps you alive. And you stay in that drug induced coma for, I think, two weeks, I think is what she says, so 14 days until this thing runs its course. They, of course, they're pumping you with the medicine and stuff. I don't know about you all. That does not seem pleasant. It doesn't seem like something I want to do, but, you know, if I catch it, 
you ain't got no other choice. Um, I might start writing everything down before I talk to you, and it's because I have all kinds of stuff I want to talk to you about, but when I turn this on, it kind of leaves my mind. It doesn't. Being in front of a camera don't bother me. I've been in front of many thousands of times when I was in those ghost hunts. I have given lectures by a bunch of people, and I've spoken in front of a bunch of people on stage before. It's just that I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just going. But I, I want you all to stay safe and stay healthy. Stay away from people. Stay home. Stay clean. Keep your car clean. Your house clean. Your front, even your porch, and your sh clothes and your shoes. You're in your body clean. As well as your pets, you know, it's still not 100% for after your pet can get the scrap or not. But, do us all a favor. And if not for yourself, do it for your family. I thank y'all. Have a good day.